Hello everybody, it's Beard Boy OG here, and welcome back to another episode of Unity Craft. We are now no longer poor on the server, but there's a problem. I need more riches to su su suffice my my inner greed, my inner turmoil to become the richest guy on the server. <laughs> so today, we are going to be joining everybody else here on the server who has shops and are going to make one of our own. Hey, could you subscribe? Only about 8% of my audience is actually subscribed, so I'd greatly appreciate it. So you might be wondering, what kind of uh, shop are we going to build? Well, we've kind of been beaten to the punch here on the server because we started late. There's already a wood shop. There's a, some unique stuff like a stand shop. There's already a flower, a flowery shop. Greenery and flowery, which was my original idea. But <laughs> there, a lot of the other stuff has been done before. So, you know, so I thought, you know, why don't we make a copper shop? Huh? Why is that? Well, even though copper is decently available... There's not somebody that's constantly getting supplies to have copper just readily available. Especially in, uh, not the oxidized form, but waxed. There's not too many bee farms from what I know of. So it's going to be a lot harder to make those blocks. So why don't we make a way to have those readily available? Which is what my idea is here today, as we will come over here to this side of the, of the, the community shop cave. It's going to be located right here. And in the chest, we have all the supplies, really, that we're going to need. That is not supplies. I just found this. And I found more supply for the shop. <laughs> but we're going to have jungle planks, jungle logs, a bunch of copper blocks... Okay, show, hey, 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 I was in the middle of explaining here, sir. How rude. Back to what I was going. Acacia planks. We have deep slate. And we have a couple of other items just to make it easier to do. So, over here is where we're going to be placing this space. And we need to fill this up. So, I'm going to look up. And hopefully it's finished by the time I look down. And as I look back down, oh hey look, all the dirt has been placed. It's not going to be too big of a shop, I just want it to be big enough where we can have chests somewhere over here in a place to show that we're building them. What I'm also noticing is that we're going to need a bridge over. I don't want to dismantle this waterfall, it kind of adds to the mystique of this entire place, so I don't want to kill that. So, what I'm going to do, we're going to go, we're going to plan this part out, and then with the remaining logs, we're going to make a little bridge going over. So, I'm not going to go and put any here, because it doesn't make sense to. So, we're going to go about here. I'm going to go up three for now. This is going to be where the entrance is, so we're going to need another three here. We're going to bring it over to here. One, two, three. It's going to go diagonal, one, two, three, into the wall. So this is where it's going to go, and eventually we're probably going to just tear this entirely down and build into it. So my goal here, as we head out, is to have copper going down like this, and to have it kind of look somewhat like this is a forgery, like a blacksmith in a way, where we have all of the stuff to sell probably back here or it being made back here and then all the chests up front this isn't too big yet but we can definitely make it bigger okay now it's time to decide the bridge so enjoy mini time lapse fm
okay, we got ourselves a little bridge built right next to where our shop's gonna be. Yeah, we're gonna have to fix this waterfall to make it look better, but for now, it's fine. It's time to focus our attention on to the shop, which I'm just gonna outline like this. This is gonna be the outside layer. Same on that side. We don't really need too much because we'll have a door here like that. So I'm going to focus on building this thing. We're going to build the walls first, then the floor. So, more time lapse FM? Yes! Okay, we have the walls, and we have the floor. It's time for the roof. The roofy roof. So what we're gonna use for the roof, very basic, very basic. What we're gonna use is copper, which is gonna be really the first time I've used copper at all. Kind of a useless block, kinda, if you ask me. But it should look good for the build. I want this to look really good. So the out, oop, that's not what we want. We're gonna have to continuously wax, or wax, uh, just cut this up a lot. I can already tell because we don't have any honey yet. And we need honey to make this just finished correctly. So we're not going to have that for quite a while. So I'm going to do a pattern where it, it's this, then slabs. I'm going to see how that looks. And I'll come back with you guys with the finished build when I flick the screen up and flick it back down. And look at that. Through the power of editing magic, we created our roof with a little bit of texturing and we even have ourselves a big copper rod on top. And ooh, is it... Are you, are you challenging me? Nope. You are dead. But from down here, look how good that looks. Oh my, you have the texturing of the roof. You have a little bit of design elements I did on the bottom part itself. It's not too major, but the thing that will let everybody know, hey, this is for copper. A little copper rod up top. I didn't, I thought of that after I had finished really everything else. And I think it looks really good on top. Now inside, currently we don't have anything. This is gonna be a work in progress. But we have some other things that we got to do. That being, see what everybody's up to. Okay, I have finally returned. And we have designed the indoors of this little shop. -ay. Let's show you the outside from over here. You have this orange little pathway that kind of makes you want to look over here. We have a little bit of a rod going up the top of the building. As we head inside, we have a wall full of furnaces. And these are basically so we can smelt as much copper as possible so we can refill our chests. Eventually, I'm going to have signs up once I have everything that I plan to sell. So, let's say regular copper here, not smelted, or copper block, raw copper blocks, or uh, oxidized, fully oxidized copper stairs, or something like that of the nature. Those will head into these. I did a little bit of a wall art thing. I'm, I kind of like it. I think it adds to the area, and we can add... Uh, specialty items to these little corners I think right now we just have the crafting table we have copper rods going up everywhere and the really cool thing is that this was built basically with every kind of copper block you can use in the game so I think this was a quite cool build so really soon beard boys shop will be able to open I did think originally do like spikes having it be more of a forgery but I think I like this it's functional. We also have these chests, which are right now only temporary. But it looks really good. And if you guys enjoyed it, enjoyed the fun, enjoyed the satisfaction, I don't know what I'm saying. 
I, I, I've, I'm crazy. I'm crazy. But if you guys enjoyed today's episode, consider subscribing because we're on the goal to 1,000 subscribers and I think we can hit that goal. Consider liking the video because liking always helps and comment down below copper because we have a lot of it. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Unity Craft.